Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, hi. How are you? Tired. Very tired. Tired. Yeah, I don't know why. In the middle of the week, one tends to feel a little bit tired, right? Maybe because of the days that have passed and you know that still that you still have two more days to work. <laughs> okay, just let me put the frame because I feel a little hot here. Give me a second. Okay, well, ready for the attendance? Yes, yes. Adriana Marcel. Adriana. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina, Diego Batres. Hola, present. Diego. Diego. Es present. Okay, perfect. Edwin Mauricio. Teacher. Hi. Hi, hi, Edwin. We see. Elmer Alexis. Okay. 
Okay, Mira Alexis, no here. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. No here. Jonathan David. Present. Jonathan David, right? Karen Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. No. Carla Luena. Present teacher. Carla Medina. Kevin René. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. No cámara, Luis Edgardo. Yo lo termino de cenar. Ok. Buen provecho. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Noé, no here. No, no. Rosa Iga. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Ok. Luz Angélica. Luz Angélica. I'm here. Ok. Thank you. Eh, Joana Ruth. Ask permission. La chica que no está. Yeah, she asked for permission. José Alfredo Elias. Present. Uh -huh. José Alfredo. Present teacher. I don't see. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, sí, ya lo vi. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Nice. David Alexander. Present teacher. Excellent, David. Buen provecho, David. Ok, vamos a ver si alguien se agregó después de que lo llamé. Ana. Carolina Abigail. Uh -huh. Carolina Abigail. Claudia Carolina. Present. Ok. Elmer Alexis. Grace Mitchell. Karen Stephanie. Noé Ortiz. Joanna Ruth, no, aquí ya la llamé. Ok, ahí estamos. Very good. Well, yesterday I'm going to share the presentation. Yesterday we were talking about what clauses. Do you remember? Hmm? Yes. Yes, yes. We were talking about what clauses. What is a what clause? What, what is a what clause? Who can tell me? It's a clause. <laughs> it's a clause that begins with, with, ¿Por qué empieza la what clause? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. WH question. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, a what clause is a clause that begins with what? 
right? Uh, it's one of the noun clauses, right? That the only thing, remember yesterday we were saying that what clauses or oh, noun clauses can begin with any double H word, what, when, who, where, that the one we are focusing on right now is what clauses. And check one thing. One particularly useful function that this what clause has is to shift, that means like to move, right, the reader or the listener, uh, attention to a specific part of the sentence. So in other words, it wants to take you and put you here and say like, look at that thing and pay attention, especially to this part of the sentence. So that's the purpose of the one clause, right? And also uh, the information we want to focus is the one that is outside the what clause. And look at this. We gave them some homemade cake. We gave them some homemade cake. Ahí todo está en el mismo nivel, no hay emphasis en nada. But if I say, what we gave them was homemade cake. O sea, no le di cualquier cake. It was homemade cake. See? So I want to focus the attention on the part that is out of the what clause. Esto es lo que me interesa a mí. Sí? Check. I'm taking the reader and the listener's attention to a specific part of the sentence, so to this part of the sentence. And I want to focus my attention on this. It's like, for example, imagine you're talking with your daughter and then you tell her, lo que te dije es que te quitaras el uniforme. ¿Qué es lo que quiere? Que se quite el uniforme. Que se quite el uniforme. So that's what you're focusing, right? So you're focusing on something. So here in this example, what you say, what we gave them was some homemade cake. So I'm calling the people's attention to this, some homemade cake. ¿Qué le dimos? Homemade cake. I didn't buy the cake. I made it myself, right? Now look at another example. We often do this if we want two different things. One, introduce a new topic. What I'm telling, see, what I want you to see, what interests, interests me is, recuerden que siempre después de una what clause va seguido por un verbo, to be. To be. It doesn't matter if it is in present or past. Yeah. What I want to know is if you wash the dishes. <laughs> right? So what I want to know is if you did what I told you. So you want to introduce a new topic or probably you want to give a reason, you want to give an instruction or an explanation. Para todo eso nos sirve la what clause, right? Or to correct something that has been said. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice, what I said is, lo que dije es, so you want to correct what you said before, right? What I said is that we have an exam today. What I said is that you have to do this, okay? So in these cases is when we use the what clause. And look at the example. What I like to work on is the revision exercise on the website, yeah? Mm -hmm. Isa arrived two hours late. What had happened 
aquí estamos hablando de pasado, ¿verdad? What had happened was that his bicycle chain had broken. Lo que había pasado fue, okay? Lo que había pasado, that would be the translation here. Question here, so far? No? Okay. Now we have some other uh, cases here for the what clause. We can often put the what clause either at the beginning or at the end. So no problem, right? What upset me most was his rudeness. His rudeness was what upset me most. Aquí he tomado una frase de Hegel's, right? So what upset me most was his rudeness. His rudeness was what upset me most. So it doesn't matter, right? If you put the, the word close at the beginning or if you put it at the end. Also, you use it, remember before we said, we want to focus on that part of the sentence, right? Also, we say that we use it to add emphasis and written. Rosy says, what makes me really angry is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Yeah. What makes me really angry is the dasta, y por eso que habla de rhythm aquí, porque le da hasta una cierta entonación, ¿verdad? So it's not like saying, I get angry about the claim that fox hunting is traditional sport. I no hay emphasis, no hay ritmo, no hay nada. Le molesta, le molesta una forma muy pasiva, right? But here, no, I want to emphasize. What makes me really angry, so me, so I'm not the mark, quien sabe, no le molesta, pero a mí, what makes me really angry is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Yeah? I don't know if you have questions. This is our review from yesterday's class. No question? Good. We're still processing. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. No questions? No? Yes, teacher. No, no. no, no, no teacher. Okay. <laughs> es que como no me dicen ni sí ni no, ni blanco ni negro. No estamos jugando ni sí ni no, ni blanco ni negro. Es que estamos apuntando, quizás por eso. Ah, okay. <laughs> Así es que díganle sí, no. Oh. <laughs> ah, ok. <coughs> uh -huh. Teacher, ¿verdad que estas presentaciones no las manda al grupo? No. Ok. Eh, lo que pueden hacer ustedes es ir haciendo capturitas de, 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 las, de las cosas. Uh -huh. Vaya. Hoy sí, entramos a tema de hoy. Ya no preguntas sobre ayer, because this was about just a gesture. No. no What I you. want to know. <laughs> <Ya vamos a ver. laughs> What I want to know is if you have questions. What you have to tell me is if you have questions. No questions. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, hoy sí, vamos a tema de hoy ya. Today, we are going to be talking about imperatives. Imperatives are very easy, right? Are very easy. Okay. Uh-huh. Eh, let's repeat the conversation. Hello, Mr. Roland. A ver. Hello, Mr. Oh, Mr. Roland. 
Hello, Hello Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. My name, My name is Ms. Ms. Nunez, and I'm going, going to explain what you must do in the production line. line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? 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 Um, first, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in the chart. Make, Make sure, sure each meets the specifications the chart in, this chart. in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this tunnel. In this tunnel. Third. Third, Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about defective pieces. Defective pieces here, defective. About defective pieces. Finally, fill in a report mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, one more time. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Roland. Mr. Hello, Roland. Hello, Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Today, Today is your first, first day, day at the plant. plant. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what the plant my name is Ms. Nunez, 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 First, you are in charge of the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Please push this red button. Please push this red button. Second. 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 Grab a pair of tongs. 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 Grab a pair of Every piece of chocolate. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this tunnel. Third, place the defective chocolate in this tunnel. Finally, Fill in a report at the end of the day about the effective pieces. Finally, fill in a report, at the, in a report the at the end of the day about the effective pieces. Okay, very good. Now, I'm Miss Nunez and you are Mr. Roland. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez and I'm going to explain what you are doing the production line. Nice to meet you, nice Mr. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Where do we start? Where do start? First, you, have, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. 
make sure each meets the specifications in this part. Third, place the defective shaglet in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Now you are Miss Nunez and I am Mr. Roland. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Roland. Roland. Today, today is the first today is the day at the plant. Uh -huh. My name, is my name is Mrs. Yes. Nunez, yes. and, and I am going to explain what we have product line in the product line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, First you are in the nursery shop in your belt. Please push this Please red, push button. red button. Second, Second grab a pair of gloves and pick everything of chocolate. Read uh, this chart, chart and check every page. Yes. Make sure each meets the specification in the chart. Place the chocolate in this funnel. This funnel. Finally, Finally, we will now wrap up the day at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Hey, very good. A ver, there are a couple of words that are new for you. What is tones? Oh. What does it mean? Tenazas. 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 What is funnel? What? Funnel. Embudo? Embudo, muy bien. Vamos a ver qué otra palabra nos sale. Grab. What is grab? Grab. grab. Tomar. Uh -huh. And what is chart? Cargo. Chart. Cargo. En este caso, el chart es como gráfico eh, ajá. sí, puede ser un gráfico pero en este caso que es como para ir checando las especificaciones sería como una lista de cotejo ya Porque usted va a ir viendo ok they have the it has the size yes all the all the the, the pieces of chocolate are the same size ok it's a checklist. Uh -huh, it's a checklist. Exactly. That would be the, this, this chart is a checklist, right? Because you're checking if it is, uh, when you say if it meets the specifications, means it has all the specifications that are required in the chart. Yeah. Okay, now we are going, I'm going to stop sharing. You have... <coughs> You have this conversation in your manual, page 13. Page 13. What you're going to do there, I'm going to send you in pairs, is practice the conversation. I'm going to make, let's see, you're, you're 18 today. Nine pairs, everybody here, everybody connected. <coughs> okay, there you go. <coughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay.
Mr. Núñez. No te eché dedo para ver si nos daba permiso ah. de compartir con uh -huh. Ya ve, cuando me llaman, digo yo, oh, compartir. <risa> Gracias, Tiche. Thank you, Tiche. Ok, you're welcome. Um, ok. I'm sorry. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plane. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conventional belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair, grab a pair of tongs and pick every... My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push, push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece. Pie. No me acuerdo cómo se dice pieza. Piece. Piece. Piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meet the specification and this chart. Third, place the detective chocolate and the spoon. Finally, fill in a report and no puedo ver bien. At, At the end. Está como muy abajo. Está bien, así. Sí. Ok. Marco yo. Ahí voy. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Núñez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets this specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Pieces, así se dice. Pieces, yeah. Sí. <laughs> okay, please. Y otra vez. Sí. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, Mr. Rola. Today is your first day. Pieces. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Mrs. Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Núñez. Where do we start? First, you are in, a ch in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart there. Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Hello, Mr. Rola. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Um, nice to meet you, Mrs. Nunez. Where do we start? Fields, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a, grab, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. 
Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification on this in this chair. Tears place the definition. Es una cinta ¿verdad? transportadora. Cinta transportadora, cabal. Correcto, correcto. Conveyor balls. Eh, ok. Si gusta, le damos otra. ¿Quién iba yo? Usted? Yo, yo, yo empiezo. Ok. Ok, de nuevo. Uh, hello, Mr. Roland. Today, today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss, Miss Núñez. And, uh, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the, product, in the production line. Nice to meet you. Ajá. Ahí viene, le puede preguntar. <risa> teacher, teacher, I need your help. What is the conveyor belt? The conveyor belt es la cinta transportadora. Ah. Ah, ahí el detalle. Y sí, esa se me pasó, ve, yo viendo todas las que decía yo eran nuevas y esa se me pasó. Ajá. Ah, de conmigo, sí, sí, yo dije, ah, de eso le estaba diciendo Grace Michelle de que no le había consultado. Justo cuando nos mandó al grupo le iba a hacer la pregunta y dije, yo, oh. ah, no mandaron. Y that's the conveyor belt. Pero ahí estamos con el conveyor belt, ya sabemos qué es. Sí, es que cabal como en la parte de antes dice que tiene que cambiar la... Ajá, dice, primero vas a cambiar y detener uh -huh. la cinta transportadora. Ajá. Más o menos así. No es change, sino que charge. Está a cargo. cargo. Ajá, está a cargo de parar la, la cinta. La cinta. Ah. ah, o sea que es como el que va a estar escogiendo lo, las piezas defectuosas. Ajá. Para... Imagine the chocolate are passing and he is there mm -hmm. stopping and picking up what it, it's not the, the good size or if it mm -hmm. is thin or something, or if it is broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And teacher, and this, uh, question. <laughs> no. No. Respond to, no. In another group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take you out so you will do the 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 questions with another fan. Okay. Okay. Just waiting for everybody to come. Hi. I saw you were coming, but. I was taking everybody out. Anna. Vamos a ver. Ready. Okay. Batch. Let's see. I'm going to send you again, but check. This time you will go directly to the questions. Okay. Okay. We make Kevin, 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 are you here, Kevin? We have two groups of three and the other side pairs. There you go. Go directly to the questions answer the questions about the conversation, okay?
Ana, Rosa Hilda, ok, José Alfredo. Ya vamos a ver dónde lo mando. Oye, donde vea que se me queda uno solito, lo mando, José Alfredo. Ahí estamos. Bien. Ah, mire qué bonito. ¿no? Kevin y Jonathan. Entonces vamos a hacer un grupo de tres. Vamos a la sala tres. José Alfredo, cheque si se puede unir. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. José Alfredo le aparece. Ahí está. Okay. Le aparece. Eh, Jonathan no le aparece para unirse a un... No, de momento no. Vaya, lo voy a cambiar para que se agregue. Vamos a ver si le aparece. Presioné el teléfono. Cuando te lo mando, lo puedo volver a enviar, por favor. Cheque. Ahorita yo lo estoy mandando. Lo cambié de grupo. Eh, sí, le menciono que toqué, toqué el bot, la pantalla. Por eso no, no, no me aparece el mensaje pero lo acabo de cambiar de nuevo para que le aparezca. Vale, lo voy a volver a cambiar. Cheque. Ahí está. Three is there. La tercera es, what kind of machine, machinery is there in your workplace? Eh, sería como, ¿cuál es Bien. la...? Este, sería como, ¿cuál es la, la máquina? What kind? De maquinaria, ¿qué tipo de maquinaria? La maquinaria. Ah, okay, ajá, what kind of machinery. Así, ¿qué tipo de maquinaria usamos en nuestros, en nuestros trabajos? Uh -huh. mm. Computer. 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 Ajá, only computer. Uh -huh. Computer and cell phone. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Dice que yo todavía no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Le voy a mandar el... el, el el link para que se une. Está bien. Ok, en dieces de esas son las respuestas de hoy. Vaya. Ahí está. Este, esas serían todas. Se lo voy a poner aquí en el chat. Eh, Vanessa, hoy. Bye. Ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Yo entré como oyente. ¿Tengo que llenar igual uh, las tareas de la plataforma? Sí. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y, y cuál, usted... es, cuál es la diferencia en normal y oyente? Lo que, bueno, en mi caso yo entré como oyente porque entregué tarde los, los documentos, Ajá. las planillas y eso. Entonces, la otra pregunta es de que usted revisa cada semana, eso lo manda cada semana. La plataforma está allí completa. Desde ajá, ajá. ¿La podemos completar hasta el final incluso? No, tienen que ir no, trabajando. Step by step. Ya, por ejemplo, para el viernes, viernes en ajá. la noche, yo estoy recogiendo notas de la unidad 1. Ok. Tiene que asegurarse que para el viernes ya ha hecho las primeras cinco tareas. Ok. Para el siguiente viernes tendría que estar, ya le digo cuánto es el siguiente viernes, ya de la segunda semana. Es, uh, Ajá. Para, uh -huh. para el viernes 25 de marzo tendría que estar terminando la unidad 2. Y okay. seguir adelantando que después de la unidad 2 hay un examen de medio curso. Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces tiene sí, que... Sí, como... Para trabajaba el... con nuestra teacher, ya lo, lo terminábamos todo, de ahí así a quien termina la plataforma. Ajá. 
Sí, no, no hay problema si se adelanta. Oh, ok, ok. No hay problema si se adelanta. It's much pero, better. Sí. Work pero, it by step by step. Uh -huh, pero eh, sí hay problema si me lo dejas del final del curso. Ahí sí, okay, rápido, rápido me la señalan como, mire, está fallando en la plataforma y no ha cumplido. I got it. Porque a nosotros nos supervisan plataformas semanales. Yeah. Entonces, okay. eh, nosotros vamos recogiendo la nota de la plataforma, yeah. sí, semanal. Mm -hmm. El viernes yo recojo nota de la unidad 1, el siguiente viernes unidad 2 y medio curso, entonces así voy. ¿Verdad? Cada okay. viernes porque ya me tira el promedio de la unidad completa. Y otra pregunta, teacher. Es, en la primera clase yo no pude entrar. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, uh, tengo entendido que un día a la semana se queda con la persona, con, con sí. un estudiante. Sí. Eh, nos, me imagino que eso, lo, eso, yo sé que usualmente lo dan en la primera eh, clase. Sí. Entonces, fíjese, yo no supe, me quedé en que no sé cuándo me toca a mí. Fíjese que usted es oyente, ¿verdad? Sí, creo que quedé como oyente. Fíjese que con los oyentes no nos, no nos, no nos autorizan quedar. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Pero si usted tiene alguna pregunta, usted siéntase con toda la libertad del mundo para hacer esa pregunta dentro de horario de clase. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Cualquier teacher. pregunta que tenga, no tenga problema de su teacher, tengo una pregunta. Usted sienta oh, okay. uh -huh. Teacher, una última pregunta. O sea, los viernes va a revisar usted la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí, fíjese. La ah, vez pasada, que antes quedaba el lunes. Ajá, exacto, porque empezamos uh -huh. martes el curso. Ah, va. Pero Está hoy bien. No empezamos lunes. Entonces, revisión de plataforma va a ser el viernes. El viernes, va. Está bien, está bien. Gracias, teacher. You, teacher. Hoy sí nos queda la semana completa. La vez pasada les decía yo, nuestro viernes es el lunes, porque empezamos. Ajá, ajá. ajá, pero ya empezamos lunes. Pero sí, cualquier pregunta, Luz Angélica, aquí estamos a la hora. Hoy. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bueno, me voy y ya terminaron, ¿verdad? You finished. Eh, yeah, yeah, yes, teacher. Finish. Me lo llevo ya, entonces. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, too. Only two people. <laughs> Only two? Only two. Teacher. The Ahí viene. For the last minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver, ahí está. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a ver, ready. Sí, verdad, ya vienen llegando. Three seconds, two seconds. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's check the, the, the questions over there. Who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Who? Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Stop the converger belt. Mm -hmm. Another one. Push the push this red bottom. Okay. Um, uh, another people say. What else? Yeah, I think uh, read the chart and check every piece of chocolate and fill the report at the end. Exactly. Uh, okay. They checking the chocolate. Quality. Check the chocolate quality, exactly. Imagine that would be delicious to be checking the chocolate quality. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I imagine. <laughs> yeah, I, I love chocolate, really love chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine, ah, this chocolate is defective. You can eat it. 
You have to eat the chocolate and but check I'm not the sure quality. I, <laughs> I don't know if that's what it really what really happens. Or probably they will go through the process again of uh, remember tempering the chocolate again to make other pieces. Because the good thing will be like, okay, this chocolate is defective, you can eat it. I remember a couple of years ago, I had a group of students from a, from a bakery. I, I won't tell you the name of the bakery, but it was a bakery here in San Salvador. And on Fridays, they usually appeared with bread. And they said, I remember they, they took a couple of boxes of bread for me. Uh, and they said that the, the day on Fridays or any day on the weekend, when there was some bread that was kind of defective, that didn't fit, right? Or didn't meet the specifications because it was too, too big or too small or it broke when they were taking it out. Then they could buy that bread very cheap, less than the 50% of the cost of the bread. So all the employees were free to buy. So they didn't tell them buy a here in the bread, but they could buy it very cheap. And then they were carrying boxes of bread to their houses because if the bread didn't meet the specifications in the chart, that was like, it's defective. It is defective here, so you can come buy it cheaper and take it home. So we don't uh, we don't lose the the product. product. Mm -hmm. And instead of throwing the product away, they were selling it cheaper to the employees. So that was that was good. <laughs> I enjoyed it too. Okay, so I don't know if any other bakery or any other company does that with the employees, but that's very good. Now, let's see what kind of machinery is there in the workplace? What kind of machinery? The conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt, right? What is a conveyor belt? Industrial. Uh -huh. So you see, the, the production line. The pro, it's part of the production line. It's very important, right? In the production line. So you will see the piece. I just imagine. I have very good imagination. I just imagine the check the pieces of chocolate coming. I don't know what color my eyes will get to see all that quantity of chocolate. So imagine the chocolate coming and the person with a with a tongue taking like this, no, no. But you have to be very fast. You have to be very fast to, to pick the ones that are not good. If no, you stop, right? Stop, push the red button. If you say like not too much, I cannot pick all the ones I need. Push the red button to stop the conveyor belt and then get the cookies that you need. Questions? No? No question? No, teacher. No question, teacher. Now, check this. These are video. This is a video that you can watch later on. It is about machining, right? Machining. And you will see a couple of engineers describing the machines and how they work. Okay, so that's good listening practice for you. So at the end, later on, you can see it or tomorrow in a, in a free moment that you may have, right? We never have free moment, but in a free moment that you may have, you can go check it. Okay, check this. We are going to be using imperatives today. What are imperatives? Hmm? What are imperatives? Check. Imperatives are words that we use for giving an order. Give an order. 
for giving instructions also. And also to, or to make invitations. But to make an invitation like una invitación sonando a orden, right? Vámonos. <laughs> Come, right? Something like that, because that's that's the type, that's the imperative. Sometimes we may have polite, uh, well, requests that we more a request than an imperative. The imperative doesn't have a please, doesn't have a you. It doesn't take you. You use the imperative like this. Read the chart and check every piece. See? Quiere, no quiere, no, hágalo. So it's an order, right? It's an order. It's an instruction. It's a direct instruction. And the subject is you. So the person who I'm talking to is the one that is going to follow this instruction. Yeah? So unplug this cord and connect the blue one. No tiene que ser rudo necesariamente, but it's very direct, right? It very, it's very direct because it's an instruction, it's an order. Fill in a report about the defective pieces. Verify the oil level. So as I said, sometimes you may have a plea in this. And in this case, it is a request more than an order. Okay? But I'm going to call attendance before I go on more details here. Let me see Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Presente. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Carolina, Carol, Carolina, Carolina. Claudia, Carolina. <laughs> Present. I'm changing your name. Siempre le cambio el nombre a alguien. Siempre, siempre, en todos los cursos. Ay, que hoy usted se va a llamar Carolina, Carolina. Mire qué barbaridad. Claudia, Carolina. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present, teacher. Elmer Alexis. Elmer, not here today. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan David. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Noé, Noé. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joanna Ruth. Joanna Ruth. Ella es la que está con permiso. Ay, es verdad, es verdad, es verdad. <laughs> eh, José Alfredo, la memoria, Luis, la memoria. Present teacher. José Alfredo, así. Y Marina Vanessa. Presente teacher. David Alexander. Presente teacher. Ok, perfecto. Ahí estamos. I'm going to share screen again. Okay. Now check. This is a part of the vocabulary that you will learn when you see the video about machinery. Okay. A ver, let's see. What of these words do you know? Yo he tomado solo cuatro. Allí ustedes siéntanse libre de ver el video y de revisar el otro link que tiene vocabulario relacionado con machinery and the process. 
of manufacturing. Okay, a ver, check. We have four, four phrases, well, one phrase, some three words here, molding and casting, separating, assembly, and forming. What is molding and casting? Mm -hmm. Molding and casting. You can the stage of production in which come in which components are put together into molding and casting. Molding mm -hmm. and casting. Molding and casting, I think a process by which a material is introduced into a mold while it's a liquid and allowable to solidify in the shape of the mold. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's molding and casting. Yeah. Uh, remember when we were talking about chocolate, we were saying that they uh, tempered the chocolate, right? The chocolate is very hot, it's boiling hot, right? So they are tempering the chocolate. Then, it is still liquid. They put it in some molds, so it takes that form. I remember a couple of years ago, before the pandemic, and when I I don't remember the name of this store. Someone used to put the chocolate on on sale on the twelfth and thirteenth of February. And I remember we used to go there to buy the chocolate for uh, Valentine's Day because all the children playing a uh, secret friend. So we went there. And I remember this, and when we say, allowed it to solidify in the shape of the mold because they had leaves, they had flowers, they had the different shapes of chocolate. So, that's molding and casting, right? You temper the chocolate and then you put it in the mold so it gets the shape that you want. Mm -hmm. but, but what about separating? A process of unwanted materials. Exactly. So remember when uh, Mr. Roland was taking the pieces out, right? The pieces of chocolate out, he was separating the unwanted parts, right? Not the unwanted material in this case, but the unwanted parts. In the part when we can say that they are uh, taking the unwanted parts is when you have the, the beans just toasted and then you have to clean them and take it and take or remove the peel of the bean, right? So you want the peel, the part that is inside only. You don't want all the, all the, the la cascara, no, right? Not the skin, just the bean inside. So that part will be separating and you're removing the unwanted material or the peel. What about assembly? What is assembly? The stage of production in which components are put together into a product. Yes, that's assembly. I'm putting all things together. Um, we cannot talk about assembly when talking about chocolate, right? But when we are making a bicycle, yes, for a car, we are assembling, putting everything together. What about forming? The use of pressure, of course, to shape a material. Mm -hmm. The use of pressure or force to, to shape a material. Very good. No questions here? No questions? No. Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, solidify. Could you repeat the word, please? Solidify. 
solidify. Solidify. And the word assembly. Assembly. Yeah. Assembly. 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 Solidify. Solidify. Solidify es un verbo. Right? Solidify. Solid adjective. Solidify verb. Verb. Teacher, allow is a allow or allow well? Allow. Allow. Ah, okay. Allow. Mm -hmm. allow. allow. Yeah. Okay, thank Another you. One? Allowed. And allowed to solidify. Allowed. Permitido, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, no more? Yes. Um... A process that removes unwanted. 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 Ahí suena como que fuera a. Unwanted. Okay. Unwanted. Unwanted materials. Unwanted materials. Okay. okay. A ver, a ver, a ver. In your own words. In your own words. What is molding and casting? Is a um, form um, for a piece. Uh, in this case, a chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To me, make form and classify. Okay. To put to put it in something where it will get a form, right? For example, the cookies. The cookies. You can say that you mold them los moldecitos de forma de mariposita, de estrellita, de flor, o ya sabe. Maybe, maybe cupcake. The cupcakes. Eh, or knife. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you make a shape on top, right, of the decoration. Okay. What about separating? What is separate? It's a separating uh, the, the good product and the bad product exactly. or deficit product. Excellent, excellent. So you're separating what is good to what is not good, right? Excellent, thank you, Lewis. What is assembly? Which component? Components. The components. Put the components. Components. Um, is the finally product put in the package? Maybe. That is packing. Oh, that is, that is, that the, is the packing. Is ready and I grab uh -huh. it and I send it. Right, that's packing. For okay, packing. packing. Uh -huh, is they put it, they put it, uh, the product of the, in the packing, mm -hmm. the finally process. Okay, okay. So imagine um, I give you a lot of parts and I say like, hey, okay, hoy me forman esto. No tengo nada aquí. For example, engineering students, they they take a there is a moment in their career i don't remember the subject when they have to assemble something and they they are said okay you get a product get whatever take all the parts and then put everything together and describe the process that you're following to put all the things together as you are assemble that product again yeah because that is part of the production line and sometimes it's not the same person assembling something right one person puts one part the next person puts the other part and the other person another part that is part of the production line what about forming for me it's a give a form to any product? 
Uh -huh. Exactly. To give form to something, right? A como calca. <laughs> yes, but to give form to something. Okay, nice. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Tell me, Mike. Uh, what is the uh, the diferencia in into molding and ensembling? A uh, port. Uh, excuse me, molding I'm and forming. forming. Yes. That in, in forming, you don't necessarily have to use a mold. A mold will be a, a molde, right? For example, uh, when I was giving you the example of the cookies, that you get the, a circle or a star or a flower, you have all the mass there, and you have to use a mold to get that shape all the time. Exactly the same shape all the time. And the same with the chocolate. The chocolate is liquid, you put it, I have seen some boxes, they are like this, and they have different shapes. You put the liquid there, and then you leave it freeze for some time, and then uh, they get that shape of the mold that you have, right? They get exactly that shape. And at the end, casting is cuando lo saca, right? You're taking it from the from the mold. But when you form something, imagine the clay. You know what is clay? Plastilina? Barro. Uh -huh. Plastilina. Okay. Or the dough, la masa, right? So you make the form with your hands. So you can form it with your hands. You don't need a mold. And you can give any shape, right? But the difference is that in molding, allí ocupa okay. un molde. Pero en sí. forming con sus propias manos o con una herramienta le pega y, y consigue la forma que quiere. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, any other question here? No. Ok, let's continue with the imperatives then. Let's move here. Check, what is an imperative sentence? Okay, convey, convey, to convey, convey is communicate. Oy. The sentence which is used to convey a command. ¿Se acuerdan que hablábamos de order? Una orden es un command. A command, a request, or a forbiddance, una prohibición, right? It's called an imperative sentence. For example, uh, sometimes you tell the children, don't touch. So a command can be, or a, an order can be affirmative or can be negative, right? Forbiddance usually are negative. Don't touch. Don't look, don't go out, don't, don't stand up, don't. So they are negative, yes? And those are imperatives. And remember we said, they do not take you, right? The subject is you. So they are usually used in the second person because I'm talking to somebody. And that person I'm talking to, is the one I'm giving the order, I'm giving the command, I'm giving the request or the forbidden, right? Don't go out, that's a forbidden. Please open the door will be a request, please. Cuando no solo digo open the door, open the door will be a command or an order, an instruction. But when I say please, that command becomes a request. See? Please open the door. Please go out. Please close the window. Please clean the table. See? It's a request, not a command anymore. Tampoco lleva you, right? It doesn't take you because uh, it is like, it says it remains hidden. In Spanish, we call it just implicito, el you, ya sabemos, come, 
dormite, sentate, no te pares. Ya, ya sabemos a quién se está dirigiendo justo a la persona con la que estamos hablando, right? So that is in second person. Okay. Any question or oh, okay over there? Question. Mm -hmm. Question, question. I don't think. <laughs> no teacher. Okay. Now check this. Here we have some examples. Bring me a glass of water. Right? Bring me a glass of water. Eso puede ser tomado como un request. Give me a pen and a pencil. Take a step and don't move. That would be a forbidden, right? Take a step and don't move. Read a lot to improve your writing skill. Read a lot to improve your writing skill. And yes, it's cierto. If you read a lot, you will learn to write very well. You will get a lot of vocabulary, a lot of structure, a lot of ideas of what to write about. Write whenever you get a chance. Don't stay out at night. Another negative, you see? You can make negative comments. Please open the door quickly. Request. Please open the door quickly. Have a cup of cappuccino. Remember, we said in the, in the previous chart that you can also use it to make invitations, right? So this is an invitation. Have a cup of cappuccino. No es una orden, verdad? No es un command. In that case, it, it is like an, like an invitation. Wash your hands first and then eat. Yeah, that's something that we have to tell children, right? Wash your hands first and then it. Those are examples of command. I don't know if you have any question. Questions? No, teacher. Miss, y cuando uno las dice, no se toman como este que mandó, sino que... It depends on the intonation that you give to it. Imagine, if I tell you, Ana, give me a glass of water. That's a command, it's an order, see? But if I tell you, please bring me a glass of water, that's a request. So that's why uh, when we are using imperatives, it is very important that uh, we, we take care of the intonation, yeah? Imagine if I'm giving an instruction on how to pass you doing a game to say something. And I tell you, take a step and don't move. That's an instruction. But if I tell you, take a step and don't move, that's an order. So the intonation has a lot to do here. Yeah. So you have to be very careful with the intonation that you use. And if I tell you, wash your hands first, and then you eat. But if I tell, wash your hands first, wash your hands first, and then you eat. So it's a command, pero ya no es así como tan duro, right? So that, For example, but I don't get it. For complete, bring me a glass of water. That's, that's an instruction. No, that's not an instruction. That is a command or a request, pero no instruction. Una instrucción es como la que estaban en la conversación. Push the red button, use the checklist, take a tongue, pick up this, put it here, write a report. Esas son instructions, porque va siguiendo como para cumplir un, un proceso para hacer algo. Entonces, cuando usted le está dando instrucciones a alguien de cómo hacer algo, 
no le va a ir diciendo a ah, please, a ah, please, no, allí no hay please, allí solamente le dice first do this, second do this, then do this, y tampoco lleva you. Remember the process that we were talking about making chocolate, or if I tell you, okay, how to make an omelette. First, break two eggs, then pick up some onion, green pepper, and tomato. Put everything on the, on the bowl, mix it carefully. Cada una de esas cosas que yo le estoy diciendo son instructions, yeah? They are part of a process. So they are part of a process. Uh, the difference with of an instruction with a request is that in the request you're asking for something. Yeah. But in the instruction, you're telling something to do and to follow. You have to follow a process. You have to follow an order to do something. In a command, not necessarily. I tell you one thing you do, and that's it. Yeah? Stand up and go out. Eso no es instruction, eso es command. ¿Verdad? Ese es un command o una orden. That's an order. Stand up and go out. Go directly to the point. That's a command. Okay, go directly to the end. Run fast. Yeah, work hard. Those are commands. Pero recuerde, un instruction es parte de un proceso. Sí, yo primero le digo haga esto y esto y esto y esto. Like in the like in the conversation, that Ronald Ronald Roland was told what to do first and second and next and then 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 then, then until the end that he has to write up. Mm -hmm. And for example, this one, this is, an, this is not a command, right? This is not um, a request, porque el cappuccino no es para mí, es para usted, para que usted se lo coma. So it's that have a cup of cappuccino is an intention. Hey, have a cup of cappuccino, right? This is an intention. And remember, we were also saying uh, forbidden, right? Like forbidden is negative. Like don't, don't stay out at night. Yeah. Don't touch. Don't look at. <laughs> right. So those are forbidden. Yes. Like the poor little children. Then we say, don't touch this. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. Es don't, es prohibición, right? That's a forbidden, una prohibición. I don't know if you can see all the, all the uses of the imperatives. Remember, it's not just for a command, it's not just for an order, it's not just for an instruction. It will depend on the use you want to give and the intonation that you are using to. Yeah? Questions? Questions. En un ambiente laboral, pues lo vamos a ocupar más como instructions, right? Por commands. Comandos, eh, cuando vean el video del mach machinery, van a ver más a qué me refiero con commands, right? Eh, the man there is talking about eh, machines and how they work and how he gives commands to the machine. And the machine follows the commands he gives to it. Yeah. Any question here? Question. Mire, con todo y una gran pena le voy a preguntar. Pregúnteme. Right. Pero ahí dice, bring me a glass of water. Pero no dice, please. No, Entonces, no. en ese caso, o sea, can yo a, porque... Que be a oh. man, a command, bring me... Bring me a glass of water. Yeah, bring me a glass of water. So that's a command. Si usted quiere hacerlo como un request, solamente le pone, 
please give me a glass, bring me a glass of water. Or el please at the end. Bring me a glass of water, please. De ahí usted lo puede, el please puede ir. Acá al principio o al final. Sí, porque en español no hablamos así. O sea, uno no le dice a nadie, trae un vaso de agua. Por más confianza que le tenga, siempre va a ir, por favor. Ajá. Si aprendimos bien de Barney, sí. <laughs> the same this one, you see. Give me a pen and a pencil. Pero es que recuerden que también eh, en la cultura, ¿verdad? Como parte de la cultura, el americano es directo. Yes. Yo es bastante directo. Polite. Y por eso es que eh, la entonación tiene mucho que ver. ¿Verdad? Tiene mucho que ver. Usted puede estar dando instrucciones y no necesariamente sonar mandón. Por la entonación. So, intonation is the best thing here. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, if I say, give me, okay, bring me a glass of water. And then, give me a pen and a pencil. Take a step. Don't move. Mm -hmm. So, okay, go out, open the door quietly, desde quickly, ¿verdad? Quietly. Entonces, puede dar las instrucciones o puede dar los commands de una forma eh, amable uh, just because of the intonation you use. Yeah, intonation is very important here. By a moving. Moving, moving. Look at this. Here we have a diagram of how the chocolate product is made. What you're going to do, we continue talking about chocolate. Mañana tendré que ir a comprar chocolate. Ah, okay, look at the diagram of how the chocolate product is made. Let Para me... todos. <laughs> yes. Así yes, le voy a enseñar. <laughs> Yeah, because you're too far. Okay, so it's label each step in order using words in the diagram. See? Label each step in order using the words in the diagram. So you have separate, separate K. Separate and look at the other part. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Check. Check K. So what you're going to do is use these words from the diagram to, lay, uh, to complete this one. Okay? And if you see, we don't say you because we're giving instruction, right? Teacher. Uh... Tell me, Mario. Uh, what do you mean ground in this raw, case? Raw, raw. raw materials. Raw materials. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Los crudo. No, no, no. No, raw. Crudo, uh, crudo, crudo, crudo. Ah, grow, grow. Raw, raw material. Mm -hmm. Raw material in this context. In this context, porque acuérdense que puede ser también la materia prima, pero en este contexto, we are talking about, you were toasting the beans, right? The cocoa beans, pero siempre queda alguna o muy quemada o muy cruda. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Then you separate the raw materials to get only the, be the best cocoa. Y es crudo. No cook. Yeah. Teacher, yo creo que el compañero se refiere al diagrama anterior. En the crown. No, he said raw. Mario. Eh, no, teacher. Eh, eh, raw. La, la primera, justamente. Raw, right? No, no, raw. no, pronuncia, no pronuncia bien. Okay. Yeah, no. Raw, right? Okay. Raw. Raw. Uh -huh. raw is no cooking. No cooked. As I was no, saying. Pero... Mm -hmm. O oh, ground, Mario. Ground, ground, yes. Ground, ground is moli, molido. Molido, ok, ok. 
for example, when you get the ground beef para yeah. to make hamburgers, yeah? So you have raw ground, ground beef, carne molida, right? So here you have the ground, uh, the ground cocoa. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Moler. Wow. Okay. This, this all Thank are verbs, you. right? Separate, check, label, assemble, uh, form, mix, and ground. They are all verbs here. Okay. Now I'm going to send you to the rooms so you help each other. We are on page 14. Okay. We are on page 14. So I'm going to send you to work a little bit and uh, complete write the descriptions of the product to follow instructions as i told you before here we are using the imperatives in the context of giving instructions okay let's see where we go i'm going to send you in groups now what page is teacher 14. Okay, thank you. Page 14. Allá vamos. Ready. Yes. Ready, ready. Yes, yes we're ready. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Not teacher. Okay, bye. Allá vamos. There you go. Que lo molesto, ¿verdad? Okay. Great, great. David, join. Kevin. Grace, Grace, try to join. Okay, nice. Um. All the ingredient ingredient ingredients to make to chocolate table table. Qual seria? Um todos los ingredientes. Qual cree que podría ser? La tabla, la tableta de chocolate podría ser. Mm. Form que está bien. Form. Sí, podría ser form. Aunque ahí podría ser moler también lo que decía el ground. Ground of the ingredients to make the chocolate table. Porque sí, primero pero... se separan los. Pero como, como dice, todos los ingredientes para hacer la tableta de chocolate. Sí, pero es que como es un pro, el proceso es inicia separando los materiales ¿no? para obtener los mejores granos de Lo, la mejor calidad. Ajá, de, de, de cacao. Entonces después tendría que ser moler, no sé. Yo, yo creo que debería ser el mix. Mix. Mezclarlo. ¿no? Sí, porque al final todos los ingredientes van mezclados, ¿no? Sí, así es. Cacao. Sí. Ok, dejémosle mix. Dejémosle mix. Y si no lo modificamos, por eso no hay yeah. problema. No, pues sí, así aprendemos. Así aprendemos, mix, ok. Eh, veamos, de cocoa. Into powder. Okay. Volver los polvos, ¿va? pues aquí sería ground. Corre. Correcto. Ground. Bueno, solo lo, lo pongo, permítame. Uh -huh. Ground. Uh, the, pod, the power with milk. 
Ah, espérenme, 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 espérenme. Aquí yo creo que era mix. No, no es mix en la segunda. All the ingredients to make the chocolate table label. All the ingredients. Mm, all the ingredients. Check, podría ser ahí. Check, check. all the ingredients to make the chocolate table. Check, check the ingredients to make. Ajá, checar todos los Label es etiquetar. Ajá, Hola. label es label etiquetar. Es, es etiquetar, sí, estaba equivocado. Ah, Entonces, pues label no será el package. Eso. Sí, correcto. Label sí, ya, ya, ya estaba con duda y La... correctamente. Label. Label package. Ah, vale. okay. Label de package. Ah, pues ahí, assemble the chocolate package to finish. Asando. Separate es el primero, ¿verdad? El segundo dijimos que era mix. Sí. El, ter el tercero para mí es, es ground, de moler. Moler de coca los beans. Ahí, ajá. Ground. Sí va, ¿verdad? De Sí, powder, ¿Qué es powder. ¿Qué es? Ajá, powder. Polvo. Uh, ah. powder. No, pero ese sí es el tercero, ground the cabbage into powder. Sí, sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, correcto. Mix the, the powder with milk. Claro, ah, pero es que no. podemos repetir, sí, vea. Vamos a repetir. Ah, pero ya, pero ya puso ahí mix all the ingredients. Ay, sí. perdón. Perdón, se me fue. Dale, dale. Yo ¿En creo que era? sí podemos repetir. 14. Ese. Ajá, ahí. Está. ahí. Yo creo que después de round es, es mix también. Mix. Mix de powder with milk. Mezclamos el polvo con leche. Uh -huh. O ensemble. No, ensemble, no creo. Bueno, pongamos mix. Pongamos mix. La, la última es check. Creo yo. La calidad. Sí, la calidad. Ajá. Check. check quality quality control. Que la calidad. Ajá. Ahí ya ocupamos todo, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya tenemos ground. Form. Yo entendí que era como darle forma. O sea, para formar una sola una pasta. Form a simple place. Mm. Para formar una. Eso entendí yo, pero mi alma. Ok. Ah, pero que un traductor, pero. You have used forms twice. Oh, sí, es cierto. Dos veces. Dos veces hemos utilizado forms. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, separate. No falta, ¿verdad? No, separate es el primero. Vamos a ver, separate. Round. Mix. Or. Esa. Lato. Shake. And separate. No hay uno arriba de, 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 de esa flecha, supongo. Arriba. No, no hay. A ver. Haz un logo. Son tres, seis, siete. Y aquí hay tres, ocho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to repeat the one. Pero cuál no falta. 
separate the starch. No, dice no, mis, no. mi soya pisa bien. Que por... Ajá. One would be repeated. Sería aquí. <laughs> ¿Qué están haciendo? <laughs> Yo que iba. Ah, no. Ahí está. está algo así. <ríe> ok. Entonces sería assemble all the ingredients to make the chocolate table. Yo creo que así sería. What is assemble? Ensamblar. Mm -hmm. And I think. Um, all the ingredients to make the chocolate table. Creería yo, teacher. <ríe> no sé qué dicen las compañeras ahí. <ríe> Ay, me salí. Hola. Hola. Grace, Grace, Grace. Por ahí andaban, teacher. ¿Verdad? De practicarlo. Uh -huh. Y ahorita ay, es el sí, espacio pero... para aprovechar a practicarlo, pero ay, a mí me cuesta que no haga la teacher, pero me cuesta. <risa> teacher, we have a question. Eh, in the exercise, we have to repeat a, a word, so we don't know if that's if that is correct or we have to make some change. Make all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Mm. Mm. All the other. How se pronuncia? Assemble, correctamente. Assemble, assemble. 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 It's raining here in my house. Again. Again, yes. Oh, here too. But it's good for sleeping. Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. In other cases, uh, the que te calor te hot no te, cómo sería el, el calor se, se, se siente más el borote ajá estaba <ríe> el borote but it depends it depends if eh. teacher fíjese que no sé si soy yo pero le escucho bien a lo lejos mm. Dice que se le oye un ruidito, Karen. ¿Como el ventilador? ¿O eh. otra cosa? No, como... Y, 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 como que estuviera... Ah, pues me, me falla el internet entonces. Ajá, como que estuviera teniendo un corte de tal. Well, you finish, right? Yes. yes. Ah, ya me los finish. llevo entonces. Okay. okay. Te tomaron captura. Finish. Mm -hmm. Ya estamos. 
who will be my first volunteer to chair. Volunteers, volunteers. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the second line. Mix all the ingredients to make to the chocolate tablet. Mm -hmm. The third sería ground the cocoa beans into powder. The other uh, mix to uh, mix the powder with milk. Ensemble, I don't know, ensemble the chocolate package to finish. Form a simple paste, label the package and check quality and quality control. Okay, very good, thank you. One more group. One more group. Our group said that first, eh, Habíamos puesto farm, pero después repasamos y dijimos mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Mm -hmm. Y ahí ground the cocoa beans into powder. Y ahí mix the powder with milk. Y ahí pusimos label the chocolate package to finish. Form a simple paste. Ice paste pass. Assemble the package and check quality in quality control. ¿Cómo okay. se pronuncia paste? Quality and quality control. Mm -hmm. You have a difference with Mario, right? That's the chocolate package to finish and the package. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. In okay. my group, teacher is uh -huh. check a simple pass. Repeat. Y check a simple pass. En esa. Check. Esa la tenemos diferente. Sí, check. A simple past. A y simple la paste. Simple paste. Uh -huh. Y la última la tenemos form quality in quality control. ¿Qué hacen el quality control? Mm. Check. Check. Uh -huh. Check. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. En el quality control lo que hace es checar la calidad, right? You check the quality in the quality control. Y form, ¿a dónde pusieron form? La habíamos puesto ahí en esa de quality. Ah, pues hagan Entonces, el... nosotros la, la tenemos al revés. Vamos al okay. cambio. Gracias. ¿Dónde pusieron assemble? The package. Assemble the package. Yes. And label the chocolate package to finish. Mm -hmm. Sí. Me, me, me gusta yes. esa idea de assemble the package and then label the chocolate package to finish because the first thing you do is like, imagine, well, you have seen how they have the, the, the packages or the, or the boxes, right? They are like apachaditas and then they, they form them and they assemble the package and get ready the package or the box that they are going to use. And when that is ready, they put the label that says chocolate de la niña chusita. Nah. <laughs> right? So you put a, a, a label with the name of the chocolateria right? that it's preparing the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now we have 10 minutes, but I'm going to give you only five for you to make a conversation you're going to get in pairs and create a conversation using imperatives to manufacture a product. You can use the product that we have here if you want. You can talk about the chocolate or you can use a different one, okay? So I'm going to send you in pairs right now for five minutes and then I will listen to a couple of you, okay? Yeah. Yes, please. 
<laughs> okay, there you go. Mini conversation. No se vayan a ir a hacerla tan larga, right? Mini, mini conversation. Rosy. Teacher, se fue la energía, pero ya puede entrar. Ay, ahorita la mando. Vamos a ver dónde alguien me quede solito. La voy a mandar. Oh, madre santa, oiga. Está tronando aquí en mi casa. Edul Reinhardt. Eight. Vamos al... Eight. Acá también y los datos del teléfono no me levanta. A ver pero si... Ya, ya estoy en la computadora, pero se, se está bien inestable la energía. Sí, a ver si me la deja entrar al, 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 al grupo. Ahorita la mando. Okay. Grace, Grace. Ahí está, muy bien, Jonathan. Hola, hola. No se logró unir. Eh, si me lo vuelve a mandar, por favor. Vamos a ver. Lo voy a mover al uno, pero solo para que agarre impulso y lo quiero en, en el grupo ocho. Ok, ok, no hay problema. Vamos a ver. Me volví a regresar. Ay, Luz Angélica, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, me estaba diciendo mi compañero de que estaba eh, manejando. Oh, vaya. Yo la voy a mandar al, al grupo 8 también a usted. Ok. Hola, creo que tengo problemas de conexión. Y voy a mandar a Jonathan. Voy a mandar a Jonathan al 1 porque en el 1 ve que si bien se podía unir. Lo voy a mandar para allá. Cheque si se logra unir. No le acepta, ¿verdad? Pruebe, pruebe. Si le aparece. Hola. Pruebe si le aparece. Ahora sí le escucho. Ahora sí le escucho. No la escuchaba hace un momento. Bien entrecortado. Ok. Vea si se logra unir. Lo mandé allí al grupo 2. Si no me dice, lo mando a otro. Sala de grupo. Le sale la invitación para unirse al grupo. Ahí está. Muy bien. La conversación. <risa> Tiene que ser, ser corta. Ajá. Podría ser entonces el de eh, form de chocolate package to finish, que es el de armar, o sea, del empaquetado final, digamos. Ajá. Entonces sería que yo explain how, entonces, how is, how is the process. Formed chocolate chocolate package teacher is that the correct pronunciation? Package. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Of the form. No. What is the correct? What is the? How is the process of the form? No, of form. Form. How is the process for chocolate package? No, no, era form. The process of ah, form. 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 Uh -huh. form. The chocolate package. Pero for, bueno, sí, ya, el proceso de formar. El empaque de chocolate. Chocolate. 
Y entonces usted me va a explicar. Hi, Adriana. Eh, pues... Está lloviendo y se está cayendo el Inter. Ok. Um, veamos. Eh, podemos agregar la parte de... Eh, el inicio más que todo siento como preparar, separar los materiales correcto eh, eh, mezclarlos luego, mezclar los, los ingredientes eh, empacar y pasar por el control de calidad no sé si le parece bien así sí, súper bien eh, podría ser de mix de ingredientes de eh, del producto de Dice que no, no podía. Pero no, está, está interesante. Siento que el, eh, las lecturas y los ejemplos son como muy aplicados al tema de trabajo, ¿verdad? Está, está chivo. Sí, la verdad es que sí, porque poquito a poquito uno se va familiarizando. Más que todo, como ya todos trabajamos, es como algo que vivimos a diario. Ready, 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 yes. 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 Excellent. I'm checking you out then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Nice, nice. Vaya, we are going to listen to one group today and the others tomorrow, okay? Who will be my volunteer today? <laughs> volunteer. Ajá, ¿quiénes van a ser mis volunteers hoy? Y los demás se quedan para mañana. Todos se quieren quedar para mañana. Vaya pues, quedémonos todos para mañana. Lo primerito que vamos a hacer va a ser escucharlos, ¿oyen? Vaya, let's see, tell me present. Present, Adriana, Marcela. Present. Al Analicia. Present. Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Teacher, creo, creo que Carolina, Carolina dijo. Sí, se le fue la energía. Oh. Sí. También a Rosy. Ok. Claudia, Carolina. Sí, Rosy ya entró de regreso. Present. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present, teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Karen Janet. Karen. Carla, Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Adelante. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Okay. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno, nos vemos mañana. Have a great day. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, Good night, teacher. Bye, Good night, everybody. ¿Quién se quedaba? Carolina. Ah, okay. no. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. See you. See you.